Good morning, I'm Kristen Folletti and welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Wednesday, June 12th, 2013. Facebook's first annual shareholders meeting took place yesterday and tensions were running high. Join us now to comment on how things unfolded and how Facebook responded is SiliconANGLE contributing editor, John Casaretto. Good morning, John, good to have you. Good morning. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg faced an angry mob of shareholders yesterday during the company's first annual shareholders meeting. Due to a Facebook stock valuation nearly 40 percent below the price of last year's initial public offering. Zuckerberg first defended the company's business model and several of its recent decisions, saying the stock price hasn't affected his roadmap for Facebook and that nothing in that has made him think that the fundamental strategy is wrong. So, John, what did Zuckerberg describe as signs of strength across Facebook's business? Let's start with that. Well, he's uh, certainly under a lot of fire. It's, it's a heck of a way to kick off uh, your first, your inaugural uh, public, uh, you know, meeting like that. Mm -hmm. um, but he did he did lean on a number of things. He said that there were a number of signs of strength across Facebook's business particularly in mobile where he said about 30 percent of its sales are now coming from from mobile ads. Um, one of the things that he did do was uh, of course he, he defended the company's business model as you said um, and, and a bunch of its recent decisions so um, some of those changes leaned on uh, the mobile apps and the new ad products and and really that's really where they're, they're focusing uh, most of their strengths right now and and trying to rely on those aspects of what Facebook brings to the table, you know, to its stockholders and people that they're accountable to. Shareholders pressed Facebook's top execs to explain in more detail how they would add value in the future, with one calling the stock a disaster. So did the company respond with a clear plan of action for getting the stock back on track? Uh, unfortunately, no. Actually, their, their chief financial officer was out there, and, and he said that, you know, um, really not really some strong words but what it was is that he came out and he said that they didn't really know what the future was going to bring but it was committed to making Facebook a valuable company uh, they, he'd been asked by one shareholder um, you know what do you think uh, another two years might look like he says I wish I had a crystal ball uh, Zuckerberg says that, that he, def he spends a lot of his days reviewing products at, at every stage including advertising products and he's actively engaged in these things so, you know, the bottom line is the story is it's not solid or, or confidence boosting. It's not real clear. And, and I think that a lot of people are looking at that and going, you know, we're not real sure what's going on. There is no plan of action. Mm -hmm. As you just mentioned, Zuckerberg said he's actively engaged in coming up with money making ideas. And uh, to quote him, he said, I'm very well versed in our advertising business. So what are your thoughts on Facebook's monetization efforts? Are they on the right track or do they need a fresh approach in your opinion? Yeah, that was a very interesting quote. Um, as far as coming up with money making ideas, I think I spent a lot of my youth trying to think of things like that. <laughs> you know, here, here's what they're facing. For all the monetization efforts that you know they're trying here, that they got to deal with a bunch of realities here. They, 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 from the outside, it looks like they're trying to, to throw iterations of, of different advertising platforms um, against the wall to see what sticks. And that's not really market research. Um, it's really not, you know, uh, refining anything. It, it's pretty much poking in the dark. And, you know, my feelings are that while Facebook advertising is something that can work, it, it hasn't thus far and they haven't really figured out that magic formula. And, and it's because it, it appears that um, Facebook doesn't really have a, a firm grip or plan on, on what it's doing or an end game in sight. In the way that Zuckerberg and shareholders were dealing, uh, excuse me, Zuckerberg and the execs were dealing with the shareholders, do you think that's uh, evident that, you know, this is their first time around having such a meeting and, and that they are still new to this? I think that's possibly a part of it. I think that, um, you know, we don't know how this will end up, but, uh, you know, I, you know, you've gone from a company that has, has grown from you know this small company and and uh, you know grown and exploded and had all this buzz and now it's got, you know got to face the big boys on Wall Street and this might be just be some growing pains uh, uh, on the surface that could be an issue but you know some of the underlying things um, you know in terms of the uh, the profits and and 
you know, the things that drive these things in these reports quarter to quarter, um, you know, it, maybe they didn't get the best advice. Perhaps they weren't ready. It's going to be a lot of people, you know, with these opinions all over the place. But clearly they've got an issue here um, laying out their, their plan for the future. And I think that that's the biggest concern. During the meeting, Zuckerberg also took time to address the recent NSA data sharing scandal. What did he have to say about that? Well, you know, he said that basically uh, what we've been hearing from a number of companies now, that, that the government agencies really can't plug in the Facebook servers and connect directly. Um, and, you know, when they do receive warrants from the government, it follows the processes that uh, that follow this process that are sim similar to court orders and that a minimum amount of information is given to comply with the law. Basically, they're not working directly with the NSA. They don't have, you know, direct access that, you know, they're, this is what they're, they're, where they stand on this. With all the tension that was going on yesterday, was there any sway in shareholder votes or upsets in the company's board of directors? Well, you know, yeah, you know, it, it's hard to say. I mean, I think that uh, certainly they must be feeling some, some pressure here. Um, I think that the thing is uh, Facebook just really needs to get to work and, and find that, that silver bullet. You know, it's a hard thing to balance. Again, you know, to keep doing what you did to get here in the first place and still play the Wall Street game and hit the, you know, hit the street and hit Wall Street and be accountable. I mean, it's two different things because you're now accountable to those shareholders you know, we're seeing a response from Facebook that says, hey, you know, we care, we get it, you know, we're working on it, but they don't have an answer right now. That's obvious. So, you know, this pressure will continue until they come up with something that says, you know, this is the, the, what the growth looks like. This is what these opportunities look like. And, you know, we expect X, Y, and Z. Do you think Facebook was successful in, shed in settling those shareholder concerns? Um, I think thus far, no, it's it's kind of the, the, the jury's out there, and I think that uh, we'll see some response to that, I think, in the in the short term, you know, especially in light of all these different things that are going on out there in terms of, like, you know, Google and, and their growth and, you know, Apple and all the things that they do. Um, you know, there, there, are, there are better options out there, and I think a lot of people are looking at that and saying, you know, why is my money tied up here? Mm -hmm. John, if you were a Facebook shareholder, uh, would you stick around to see what happens, or would you be running for the hills? Well, you know, yeah, when you when you think about Facebook and, and when it came out, it was, you know, the hot thing, and it was a hot thing for a while, and that's all good and well until it isn't anymore. Um, you know, it, it was it's the place where people, you know, go to find news and entertainment until that doesn't happen anymore. And, and we've seen reports of their audience sleep, um, slipping in, in a bunch of, you know, different markets and things like that, um, you know, especially among the youth. You know, it, it's an interesting thing because of Facebook's dynamics, you know, it really works as a platform for people to, to represent this uh, version of their ideal lives to, to this audience that you select. And that makes the network of friends that you have on Facebook a little, a little more than, than just really an audience that you select. So, you know, I, I think that there's a danger here that this may go the way of, of MySpace, and and it's starting to we're starting to see some signs of that, like you know some some missing clarity and things like that, with these monetization issues still lingering, with this you know not concrete plan that's out there. Now I would have I'd be highly concerned about my about my investment in a company like that, and uh, I think that a lot of people are going to be looking at it like that. I mean, certainly, you know very cool technology and very cool it's implemented a lot of people using it but you know again myspace was in that position and i think that uh you know this this could be a potential issue that we'll we'll be reading about for a while so with that 40 percent drop uh from from this year to last year do you think that they're going to continue on that trend or what are your predictions for next year well i think the for for the next year i think that they're going to to definitely be looking at this advertising and, and cranking that up, increasing their audience. You know, we've seen all the maneuvers that they've tried to do to try to keep hip and um, try to be more instant. Um, and I think that that's one of the things where I think the, the fundamental nature of Facebook really kind of under underlies, you know, it, when in comparison to some of these other, like Twitter. You know, Twitter has a, a lot more value because you know, now you're really consuming things as opposed to, you know, distributing things. And I think that, you know, it's, it's kind of both. But um, I, I just think that the, the issue with it is, is this fundamental model. And I think that, uh, 
you know, they need to find ways of, of using that, um, integrating it, continuing the mobile efforts, continuing the mobile ad stuff. And I think that, uh, you know, there's potential that it could turn around, but they need to figure out a way to do it pretty quickly. It sounds like a lot of the shareholders uh, chose Facebook because of its popularity or because they were familiar with it. Do you think that's dangerous territory when investing to go with something that's uh, uh, on the upswing in terms of trendiness? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. I think that, uh, you know, I, you know there, a lot, there was a lot of buzz that came out about it. A lot of people were talking about it. And people that are, uh, you know, kind of casual investors or lazy investors may have said, hey, this is the big thing. I see it everywhere. You know, they, they must have a plan without looking at the fundamentals of what makes that business tick. How does it compare to, you know, to other products that are out there? Okay, it's the first one to IPO, first social network really to IPO. Um, you know, is this the one where I want to, you know, put a thousand bucks, ten thousand, whatever, you know, into that? And, uh, you know, in a lot of cases, maybe people should have stepped back and said, hey, you know, this is not the time for that. You know, let's wait to see how it does and what the prospect for three to five years might be, 10 years. Um, you know, is this something I should, I think that a lot of people really uh, are, are taken aback by, you know, its performance. And I think that that drop is something that, uh, you know, hopefully for, uh, for Facebook's sake is something that they turn around, um, you know, but they'll always have this property they'll, they'll always have that brand so there's some things going forward i just think that uh you know in the short term it, it appears they weren't ready um at this point and, and it, the, there are signs that continue to to uh indicate that that's the that's the case well john thank you so much for providing your analysis this morning it's been great to have you thank you we'll talk to you soon take care and coming up here on news desk samsung introduces a new camera phone and dvr moves to the cloud but first, Wikibon senior analyst Stu Miniman checks in with us from IBM Edge, taking place right now in Las Vegas. We looked at all the programs out there and identified a gap in tech news coverage. There are plenty of tech shows that provide new gadgets and talk about the latest in gaming, but those shows are just the tip of the iceberg and we're here for the deep dive. 